A group of onlookers shout at a couple of Toronto police officers as they attempt an arrest in an alley near Church and Isabella. Star Spider shot this video and couldn't believe the number of officers who appeared. Upwards of nine officers were seen on top of the man kicking and punching. I was so aghast. I was astonished in the worst possible way that this had happened and not one person stopped to like engage with him. Watching the video back, she can't wrap her head around the callousness. See, some of them are kicking him in this pile. Like one guy on the outside is just like trying to get his foot in there. Like, what is the point of that? Do you think also that this is an example of police brutality? Yes, absolutely. There was no reason to use that sort of force. There was no reason to punch him. There was no reason to throw him to the ground. He was already restrained by these two officers who were clearly like overpowering him. The video was very distressing. It was extremely dis disturbing and it disgusted me. A former chair of the Toronto Police Services Board who subsequently authored a book on excessive force says an officer's response must be proportionate with an emphasis on restraint. Instead of trying to find out what was happening, they just join in and pile on this one frail person. I, ah, I don't have words to describe it. Toronto police say the initial officers were responding to a trespassing call. When the man resisted arrest, they called in backup. What was the message that these two people, these two cops, sent out that led a posse of thugs to come rushing and without checking, without gathering more information, just join in and viciously continue the assault? Do you think that these officers should be charged with assault? Absolutely. Instead, police say it's the man who now faces charges, including assault with intent to resist. In a statement, police say body-worn camera footage and any other video evidence will be collected and reviewed as per our procedures. Any necessary follow-up regarding officer training or conduct will be addressed. Police also say the man did not require medical attention. I don't want to leap to judgment immediately, so we'll see where the investigation goes. While the mayor, who hasn't watched the video, is reserving judgment, Alec Mukherjee has seen enough. Is the police services board? I mean, is nobody there saying, you know, what's going on in our jurisdiction? Why is this kind of behavior happening again and again and again? He is now calling for the police services board to launch a review of the chief's handling of officer interactions. I'm sorry to say that this incident to me was the last straw under this chief. I mean, the callousness, the brazenness, that people are standing there, they are disturbed, they are screaming, and those men could not care less. In a statement, the Police Services Board wrote the board is prohibited from making policies or decisions with respect to specific investigations, the conduct of specific operations, the discipline of specific police officers, and the day-to-day -day operations of the police service. It's clear as the video progresses that the individual's hands are not secured. This retired staff sergeant and former use of force instructor notes in the video one of the initial two officers was on his back. And depending on the officer's perception of risk, this could be in line with police training. If the citizen is resisting that arrest, if the level of resistance is such that you require backup or assistance, that certainly would be within the the areas of appropriate numbers and appropriate techniques. His assessment was this may or may not have been with in line with police training. What do you what do you think of that? It's shocking. It really is. We can't have police trained in any circumstance to use that kind of force. It doesn't make sense. It's not reasonable. Um, and I think we can do better. She says she's considering filing a complaint over an incident that has shaken her trust.